Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Trimco 4048 Heavy Duty Crash Chain. Here's what it looks like. So it's a bit long to show it to you in the camera because it's end-to-end -end approximately 33 and 3 quarter, and I'm looking at the cut sheet, and that link to the cut sheet is below this video. The Trimco item, first of all, strikes me as very nice and heavy duty, uh, very good quality chain, show you by sliding the thin vinyl whatever this is made of some sort of plastic very heavy chain that you see there okay it's not insignificant in relationship to my hand uh, compression springs at both ends I'll show you the other end and this is adjustable for different lengths and I'll show you how to do that <clears throat> there's the other end it's identical both sides are identical now when I have needed to shorten this up for a smaller door um, I, I simply do a partial disassemble on this and what I've done is I've taken this end and pushed it through and then you can see your two hooks kind of get revealed there I can press them and pull that through and out then at that point I can reveal more chain, remove this, go to a different link, tuck those links back inside the sleeve, okay, and then I'm just going to put it back and then how it was and reassemble it. Take that, compress these little guys back in, push it all the way through, and then those pop out. Make sure that it is pulled secure and, and back in its original condition. You don't want to get a surprise the first time the door rips open from the wind. Here we go. Forgive me, that's taking so long. We do want to make sure that it's seated properly there we go nice and seated properly now mm, no not just yet being stubborn on us here we go there we go Seated properly again, you're good to go. Slide that all back together. Let's get this other end put back nicely. So what we're seeing this crash chain here is in like a chrome finish. You're gonna have heavy plates here. What they're saying, the description says that it's not adjustable. Um, and I wanted to be clear that what I just did in terms of removing that spring, uh, removing the retainer and setting it down to the links is something that I came up with and it's worked for me in the past, you know, get those links stuck back in here, the extra links, or maybe tie them off with a zip tie and then slide it over. Um, Trimco shows this item. as being heavy duty and I and I certainly don't disagree with that the uh, the chain is certainly heavy duty these and what I think are just die cast plates I'm not a huge fan of I have seen them break but at the same time I've seen them break in situations that really were beyond in my opinion what a crash chain is designed for um, Crash chains are very effective at solving these sorts of problems, but exceptionally windy situations, a crash chain is not ideal because, um, because it will break, it will rupture the door. A lot of the failure that people have also is the screws that are included. Those are just old, well, they're just oval head number eight by inch and a quarter, maybe, or inch and a half. Um, they're, they're, they're uh, sheet metal screws. They're not 
machine screws that you would drill and tap. You could take it to another level and through bolt these through the door. You'll have to reach out to us because not every manufacturer would have through bolts available for these and I'm unsure if Trimco does. However, the through bolts that you'll see used for a male slot uh, will often work for these. So you might want to consider through bolting it and then you might want to consider having a, a backing plate on the opposite side of the door that you would install that through as well. And then at that point, you're into a custom installation. Your home centers <clears throat> have that aisle with screws and all those fancy little bolts that they've got, you know, all that stuff. You might look there too for a custom solution. Um, but just word to the wise, a crash chain is certainly effective at doing the job. But if the condition is exceptionally windy or exceptionally abusive in the, if it, and if the door and frame are not up to the task, of, of doing their part of the job, a crash chain is going to fail and not necessarily because it's the crash chain's fault. There's proper products for that, overhead stops uh, that can be uh, supplied. Trimco gets into some of those solutions as well. The link to the crash chain shows dimensionally everything important, and I'm looking at it now, forgive me, everything important about uh, the crash chain. Um, it's saying you've got a, a length here of 33 and 3 quarter end to end it looks like there's a little bit of slack in that um, okay so this is pretty long you're going to want to make sure that when you install this you're attaching the part to the header and to the door based on exactly the degree of opening that you kind of want it to stop at and maybe a few degrees short of that because you'll have compression in the springs and also make pardon me also make sure that your not interfering with existing hardware like the arm of a door closer. That's also very important as well. And speaking of door closers, uh, sometimes dead stop arms are available on door closers as well. Uh, that can help solve this problem and you may or may not be able to incorporate a solution like that as well. Uh, Trimco, you know, this is, I'm sure, um, this is a, a good quality item by them. Crash chains, they're fantastic to use, uh, solve a lot of problems especially if it's just occasional. Um, Trimco as a company is a pleasure to deal with in the sense that their people are knowledgeable, good quality product. The fit and finish on Trimco material is always superb and always worth waiting for if there's a lead time, and there generally is on a lot of Trimco material. Um, and it's a, it's a pleasure to uh, distribute for them. Uh, full line manufacturer of uh, flat goods like kick plates and push plates, uh, and also auxiliary hardware like crash chains but also they get into a lot of decorative material, their Urban line and their Mastercraft line as well. If you have any questions on the Trimco 4048 heavy-duty crash chain or any other Trimco product, please feel free to reach out to us. Thank you.